Good evening, YouTube. Group by me, back again. I'm going to be doing another review tonight. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing something from the west coast of Canada. This is the uh, Granville Island Brewing Company. Um, this is their English Bay Pale Ale. It was established in 1984. It's 5% ABV, and they are in BC, Canada, Vancouver, British Columbia. Our English Bay Pale Ale has a smooth, mild flavor, brimming with West Coast character and a caramel malt aroma. It's true pale ale, crafted for a perfect balance under the watchful eye of our brewmaster. Uh, it tells you what it would be, what a good food pairing is for it. It's a standard brand of Island uh, cap. That's your label. What it looks like. Black hat's going um, yeah, I have a, I have two or three actually that uh, from this company that I have to review. So I'm just going downstairs, picking one, bringing it up, doing whatever. Get her done. That's what I say. I'm using my Kishisippi beer glass. The only thing I don't like, um, actually, Kishisippi now has their, they have. They've been around for two years now, three years, and uh, they only used to have growlers. Now they finally got the, the small bottles at the LCBO. So this is a very, very dark copper color pale ale. It's a very nice looking pale ale. It actually looks more like a, an IPA, uh, the color anyways. Pale ale should be a little bit lighter than that. You know, there's a half a finger ahead, not much, very, very low carbonation. It is filtered because it is clear. Let's give her a smell, see what I get. Hmm. Okay, the biggest character that I'm picking up in the nose is the caramel malt. followed by some sea hops. Maybe Cascade, Centennial. It's a very dark pale ale. Wow. Anyways, I told you what it looked like, I told you what it smelled like. Let's give it a taste, see what I think. 5% ABV. There is a nice malty um, forefront, so you get the nice caramel malt and your crystal malt and your pale, your pale malt, your two-row pale. Um, the malt character is up front, and then at the back you get the the, the hop characters. A little bit of um, a little little bit of um, floral characteristics, not so much um, citrusy. Um, there is a slight bit of citrus there, but it's more like a, um, a floral kind of uh, pop. The smell and the taste are different. Alright, it's um, so you take a swig of it and it hits your tongue. You get a nice sweet maltiness as it rolls back a little bit, you get a nice bit of bitterness near the back and then it finishes dry. <coughs> it's about a light to medium, light to medium mouthfeel. Very, <laughs> very, um, it's not over carbonated, it's, uh, you know, it's decent carbonation, a little, a little on the high side, but not too bad. Um, But the caramel malt is sticking out there. So. This would probably be good with um, 
like a grilled pork chop or um, you know grilled steak or something like that. It's a little heavier than the other two in the mouthfeel, a little more body to it. Um, but uh, other than that, it's 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 an okay pale ale. It's, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's 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 decent. Um, so if you guys can find it. English Bay Pale Ale by the Granville Island Brewing Company in Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, give it a whirl. They're just starting to come out here on the East Coast a little more. Um, like Vancouver, British Columbia is like to our Halifax, Nova Scotia, so they're opposite of each other. And I'm in Ontario, so I'm kind of like the Vancouver, BC, Calgary. Um, <coughs> Uh, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, um, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, um, PEI, Newfoundland. So, um, you know, I'm more East Coast than West Coast. <clears throat> it takes me about three days to drive out to the West Coast, and it takes me a day to drive out to the East Coast. So, it's not even a day, it's about 12 hours to get to PEI. Newfoundland is a little farther, obviously, um, and it's more north, so it takes a little longer to get there, but I haven't been there, so. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm rambling on here, um, I should be talking about the beer, I'm, uh, I'm kind of rusty, I'm out of, uh, you know, I'm out of it there, I haven't uh, been doing beer reviews for months now, and uh, I'm sorry for that, guys, like I said, I've just been extremely, extremely busy with new baby and wife being sick and you know and stuff like that um, I've been pretty much a single parent for about uh, two or three weeks so excuse me so other than that I can't tell you much more about this beer except uh, if you want to try something decent go look for it if not don't worry about it you can try something else um, I'm going to go and get another beer, we'll do another review, I'm going to try and do six tonight, I'm already down to, uh, that's my third, but I've, been, I've had a few others uh, uh, recently. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.